Hi friends, Steve here in Culver City, California at Hillside Memorial Park. And right here is the final resting place of the man who composed the theme song to Flipper. And the strangest thing is, his crypt is right here, and I've walked past it at least a dozen times over the years. Mo Howard of the Three Stooges is laid to rest right here on the same wall, just half a dozen crypts away. And right behind me here, is Mickey Cohen's crypt. So how many of you remember or still watch the 1960s TV show Flipper? It aired from 1964 to 1967 and was based on the 1963 movie also called Flipper starring Chuck Connors and Luke Halpin. I remember seeing the movie and watching the TV show as a kid, but to be honest, I haven't seen it or even thought about it since then. But last year, a few of you left comments about the show and that's why I'm here today. I thought you might be curious about what happened to the cast members, just like I was. Today I'm also going to share quite a few photos sent to me by viewers and subscribers taken on their own visits to famous gravesites. And at the end I'll be giving a shout out to all the subscribers who suggested that I do this video. When I arrived here today, something happened to me that's never happened to me here before. There was a guard at the gate and he wasn't letting anyone in without taking their temperature. So I took my temperature, I was fine, I was allowed to come in. And everyone I've seen here has masks on today. I don't have one here right now because there's no one around. I'm in a section, there's no one here, but I did wear my mask to get here because I passed a few people. And I know a lot of you have said how silly it is to wear a mask in the cemetery, but there are a lot of people who work here in the cemetery and there are a lot of people who come for funerals and there's actually usually quite a few people in the cemetery, so it makes a lot of sense to wear a mask, I think. It's pretty warm here today and I've been walking around waiting to be able to get into this section. The only person I came to visit today here in the cemetery was Henrik Vars. I thought I would be in and out in 15 minutes or so, but they were having a funeral right in front of the door to this outdoor mausoleum. But it was kind of funny because it is the only funeral that I see here in the cemetery today and it was blocking the entrance to the one final resting place that I wanted to visit. <laughs> to find Henrik Vars crypt you enter the court of love here and then make a right and then in the center of the court you make a left and then follow the pathway straight ahead to the alcove of love which will be through the archway on the right hand side. Henrik Vars was a Polish born composer who was drafted into the Polish army during World War II and became a German prisoner of war. He miraculously escaped and immigrated to the U.S. and ended up composing more than a hundred movie and TV scores during his long and very memorable career. He died at the age of 74 here in Los Angeles on September 1st, 1977. The lyrics to the Flipper song were written by a songwriter who went by the name By Dunham. Dunham died at the age of 90 in Encinitas, California on April 12, 2001, but I was unable to find any burial information online at all. Sadly, by Dunham seems to mostly have been forgotten by time, but I'm sure that catchy theme song is playing over and over in all of our heads right now, and will probably be playing in the ears of future generations until the end of time. And for those of you watching on a small device, his epitaph reads, you, your talents, and your music will live forever in the lives you touched. As for the cast members of the show, actor Brian Kelly played Porter Ricks, a widower raising two young sons, and a Florida Keys park ranger or warden at the Coral Key Park and Marine Preserve. Flipper is their pet dolphin, and for those of you who I'm sure will ask, Flipper was played by many different dolphins over the years. And no, I'm pretty sure that Mo Hauer was never on Flipper, but that would have been fun to see, wouldn't it? Kelly died from pneumonia at the age of 73 on February 12, 2005 in Voorhees, New Jersey. Unfortunately, the location of his gravesite, or if he even has a gravesite, is unknown at this time. Luke Halpin, who played Sandy Ricks, the oldest son, is now 73 years old. Sadly, it was announced in 2016 that he was in the early stages of Alzheimer's disease. Tommy Norton played the younger son, Bud Ricks, and he's now 67 years old. According to his Wikipedia page, he retired from show business shortly after the show ended. And it's weird to think how in 1963, actor Chuck Connors played the movie screen father to Luke Halpin's character in the movie Flipper, and the TV screen father to Johnny Crawford's character on The Rifleman. 
And today, 57 years later, Johnny Crawford and Luke Halpin both have Alzheimer's disease. Crawford is 74 years old and Halpin is 73 years old. And as sad and strange as this is, they both have outlived Connors, who died at the age of 71 from pneumonia. Life is pretty full of surprises, isn't it? And another surprise to me was to find the Flipper theme song composer laid so close to rest to crime boss and gangster Mickey Cohen. Cohen was a notorious gangster here in the Los Angeles area, but he also ran a gambling operation in Chicago for El Capone. Cohen died from stomach cancer here in Los Angeles at the age of 62 on July 29, 1976, and since his death, he's become immortalized in countless books, TV shows, and movies. And in the smaller alcove just to the right of Cohen is the final resting place of famous vaudeville song and dance man Harry Richmond. Richmond is probably best remembered for his role in the 1930 movie Putting on the Ritz, which also earned him a hit record for his version of the Irving Berlin song of the same name. A while back, subscriber Timothy Kovacic sent me some photos from his visit to the Mount Carmel Catholic Cemetery in Hillside, Illinois. He visited the grave sites of four of the most notorious gangsters in Chicago. Like Mickey Cohen, they've all been immortalized in books and TV shows and movies too. Gangster Dean O'Banion was shot to death in Chicago at the age of 32 on November 10, 1924. Gangster Earl Weiss was shot and killed in Chicago at the age of 28 on October 11, 1926. Gangster Sam Giancana was shot to death in Oak Park, Illinois at the age of 67 on June 19, 1975. And the most notorious gangster of them all, Al Capone, died at home from a heart attack in Miami Beach, Florida on January 25, 1947 at the age of 48. Timothy also purchased his own future final resting place in the niche gardens of Gabriel at Queen of Heaven Cemetery which is right next door to Carmel Cemetery. So I guess he was just getting to know his future neighbors. Thanks, Timothy, for sharing your visit with us. Some of you may recall that I recently visited Milton Burl's gravesite here at Hillside Memorial Park in Culver City, California, where Mickey Cohen and Henrik Vars are also laid to rest. And shortly afterwards, my friend Big Bill Anderson sent me these two photos. This is a picture of Big Bill with Milton Burl in Las Vegas in 1993. And this is a picture of Big Bill with Johnny Crawford in 1985 at the Sportsman's Lodge in Studio City at a Cauliflower Alley Club reunion. Thanks, Bill, for sharing these photos with us. And this week, I want to give a shout out and a very big thank you to my newest PayPal supporter, David Hadley, and my newest Patreon supporters, Dr. J.B. Dingy and Don Ridpath. I also want to thank Patreon supporter Michael Bodden for recently increasing his pledge. Thank you, David, Dr. JB, Don, and Michael for your very generous support of this channel. I really do appreciate it. And as I promised earlier, I want to give a shout out to all of my subscribers who suggested that I do this video. So thank you, Sweet P, Cars 69 Ramon Yanez, Janine Harrison, Buck Johnson, Edward Wolf, Bob Sebring, Carolyn Smell, and Kathy Bowen. I'm home now, so I guess that's a wrap for today. So until our next trip down memory lane together, happy travels, everybody.